Hi, my name is Alan Dellinger. I work for GPM Hydraulic Consulting. We're going to learn how to set the pump compensator and relief valve pressures. Now, you wouldn't believe that how many plants I go into, and what I find is normally the pressures are set too high. Too high pressure settings result in uh, excessive heat, which causes damage to the machine. Excessive shock also causes damage, uh, causes damage to the machine. Um, so every mill that I go into normally do see pressures uh, set improperly. So to start with, we will learn how to set the compensator and relief. Now the compensator should always be set 200 PSI above what it takes to move the heaviest load on any system. Now the compensator on the pump controls your maximum pressure. You shouldn't get any higher than the compensator setting. The relief valve is a safety device. It should be set 250 above the compensator, so therefore, it should never open, only if something's wrong. It's a, it's a safety device to absorb shock and in case the pump compensator fails. So let's uh, start by setting the pressures and see how that is done. Now we're going to use our mobile training lab for this demonstration. First thing you want to do is isolate the power supply. Now that could either be done by a hand valve immediately downstream of the pump and the relief, or by using a flow control like this one here. So first of all, you, you close your manual isolation valve all the way, so our flow is deadheaded. The first step after that is to go to your relief valve, and you want to turn it counterclockwise. Now you turn it counterclockwise until the pump starts dumping across the relief, and you'll, you'll hear it. Uh, you want to lower your adjustment until you get to about 100 PSI. Now that's far enough because some relief valves don't have a mechanical stop, and I know some adjustments will back all the way out, so you want to be very careful that we don't take a bath. Okay, so now you can see that we are dumping at 100 PSI. We've got it on our gauge. The next step is that you turn the compensator adjustment clockwise. Now the idea uh, or the key thing here is to turn it fully clockwise higher than what the relief valve is going to be set to. Okay, now once we have it turned all the way up, you'll notice the gauge didn't change as I've done that. Then we go directly to the relief valve again because you always set your highest pressures, work your way down to the lowest. Okay. Now this particular pump, we're going to assume our load uh, is 300 PSI, so that means the compensator will be set uh, at 500, that's two above, so the relief valve will have to be set at 750, okay? So now we adjust the relief valve clockwise, and you see the gauge increasing there. We should be able to reach our total setting of 750. Once we get to 750, you can see that on the gauge. We can also hear it dumping. Immediately we go to the compensator and turn it counterclockwise to 500. Now once we start turning the adjustment, uh, you'll notice the gauge will start to fall. Now we'll drop it down to 500, that's our desired setting. And now we can lock down our compensator, lock our relief, and we can open our isolation valve back up and we're ready to roll. If you found this tip helpful, visit our website at www.gpmhydraulic.com and learn about our two-part training program.